So because it's been a little bit warmer, the worm tub is still gone here. Um, and I'm gonna scoop out some of this more finished material and use that as a soil amendment. So here's the worm castings. Um, you know, it's a little bit chunky. Some of these wood chips and leaves haven't fully broken down. A little bits of food, a lot of worms in here. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting because I had this um, analyzed by our good friend, John Culpepper, who runs the Compost for Good initiative. Um, you know, he's been learning a lot about how to analyze different composts. Um, you know, and he said the results were a little bit surprising in that there wasn't nearly as much um, sort of nutrient cycling um, and diversity of microbes that he would have expected from a vermicompost. Um, and he was saying potentially it's because it was too wet, um, probably didn't add as much dried carbon as I should have. Um, and also maybe because it was open to the rain um, that a lot of that sort of leached out. Um, and potentially isn't quite as potent as it could be, but you know, it still looks like a great soil amendment. And I'm gonna mix that in with some of our other compost and add that to our planting. So, and here's the material that comes from the rotating drum composter. You know, it's a little bit more refined, um, a little bit different. So, we're gonna just kind of mix those together. So and basically what I like to do is just add a little bit of both down into the bottom of the hole and then start to mix that in with the sort of native soil that is already there. Some wood chips, and that's it.